Hello guys, welcome to the first chapter of this virtual staging course. The first thing that we are going to do is to select the units that we are going to use for this particular course. For that, let's just go to the customize menu, go to the unit setup dialog box and in this dialog box, we are going to choose meter as our unit setup. You can choose any of these meters, uh, any of these units like millimeters, centimeter or meters depending on what you have been working or what you are comfortable working with. You can also choose feet and inches that is the unit US standard dimension that is used all across the world. If you are comfortable using this, you can also use this. Please do not use generic because we are going to, we are, it's very important that we use some sort of a metric to create or build or work with in this particular course. So you can choose whichever you are comfortable with. I'm going to choose meters because it's for me, it is very easy to use. I have been working on meters for a really long time. So it's totally fine if you are if you are comfortable working with millimeters, centimeters or feet, inches, whatever you like. But important thing is that you select either of these units or metric system to work with. Once, once you select this meter, go into the system unit setup and here again I'm going to select meter again. Click OK, press OK and that's it. In the next step, we are going to select V-Ray as our render engine. For that, let's go to the render setup dialog box. In this dialog box, we are going to go to the assigned render. Here inside production, select V-Ray as your render engine. Click OK and close the render setup dialog box. In the third step, we are going to remove the camera exposure that has been already assigned by 3ds Max into the environment slot. For that, let's go to the rendering menu, select environment. In this dialog box, go to the exposure control. Here you can see physical camera exposure has already been assigned by default inside 3ds Max. We are going to select no exposure control. Because for this particular course, we do not need any type of exposure to be used. We are going to keep it very simple, very straightforward. Now close the environment and effect dialog box and you are set. In the next chapter, I'm going to teach you how to set up camera for virtual staging. See you in the next chapter.